Hey y'all, and welcome back to the Young Thug YSL Rico Trial Day 140, y'all. Man, we already at October, y'all. We we are at October already. Yes. Um, this portion of segment or portion of the YSL trial, um, they talking about the files. Um, Sergeant Gaither is no longer uh, with the city of Atlanta, I guess, not food and cattle, but, you know, she's either retired, okay? And she took her file with her. That's what they're trying to get to. What did she keep? She got a copy of the file. They're trying to see what is she going by. What file is she going by? Where is she get the file from? Why is the file not this? Why is the file not that? And so also through this uh, segment right here, uh, that's what they mainly talk about the file, okay? Now, I want to say something. Now, the state, the lady sitting right here with the pink jacket on, Miss uh, Adrian Love, I think she got a lot of practice to do. She, I don't know if she ever, she ever, this is her first Rico case or what? I don't know what. But uh, it seemed like, have you ever seen a, someone that tried to make themselves look good? Because they want to move up to a, a higher position or something like that, but they forgetting about you. So there's going to be a situation with her and the young man right here who's sitting here. She going to make Mr. Uh, she got an attitude. I don't know why this woman's so angry. I never seen a woman angry like that. And she going to pick up the, uh, just because they're asking her something about the file. She going to say, well, Mr. Steele gave us a flash drive and it don't work. And then the man on the side of her, the attorney sitting on the side of her said, your honor, yes, we already handled this, you know, me and Mr. Steele and somebody already talked about, yeah, it does work. Your turn again. She said, well, now that's how I like to see y'all get along. See, love don't want to get along with nobody. She don't want to, it's all about her and she need to stop that. And I don't like talking about people, but I don't know why she's that way. So I'm glad that I had to give him his, his, uh, high five. And he did an awesome job to stand up and say that they had already talked about it and ain't nothing wrong with that flash drive, Your Honor. But she wanted something to be wrong with something. Everything somebody else do, but, but when she do it, it's going to be right. But it's wrong. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I don't know. Why is it not loud? Okay, here we go. Pieces of your file will eventually go to the district attorney's office at a later date. Is, am I understanding you? Correct. The, the complaint room is part of the district attorney's office, but it's, it's one of the initial, um, I guess, attorneys that touch the case. So once the case is, I don't know how, what the process is of assigning a case to a particular district attorney to prosecute the court for preliminary hearing. She's not even looking at Gaither. I mean, see that what she just did wasn't even said was not necessary. Uh, uh, she's hoping poking around with this in trial. This Rico trial don't take all day. They already on did jumped off half of his, and then we we still in the same spot. Copy that you made to send to the DA's office at whatever 
the time they requested it. Is that fair? It's fair, but like I said, it, it appears that they may have added some documents to okay. that. Once they have that in yeah. their possession. Okay. That's correct. All right. Okay. Are we ready for the jury? <sighs> On the lunch break, uh, Mr. Sharp handed to Mr. Atkins a thumb drive. Look, y'all, watch this. Now, she gonna hold a thumb drive up. Look at Mr. Atkins. But watch this. How professional he comes in. Of exhibits. Okay. Uh, Mr. Now, see there? She don't like that. Now, she tried to make Mr. Sharp look bad. Mr. Atkins had to stand up for Mr. Sharp and him. Like, they were together. And watch how he's standing. Miss, Miss Love, don't know why she... I ain't never... A woman who ain't happy like that, y'all. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Don't want to get along with nobody. Be professional. She ain't got to get along with them. Just be professional. Now watch Mr. Atkins stand up. Let you have to see what's on it. No, we just got it. We're looking. Your Honor, because it was my fault for not being able to open it earlier, no, I have not been able to see all of them, but I have them. Is so, it? They're, they're, all, they're all clips from the video that was All right. Great. And is the video already in? Okay. Thank you. All right. Are we ready for the, the, the jury? He tired of Ms. Vogel. Miss Hilton tired of Miss Love. Everybody tired of her. If she let Hilton, Hilton need to be the chief. And she probably uh, a amateur. Way to go, Mr. Atkins. Mr. Atkins, you're giving that high five. Mr. Atkins, tell Tony he tired of this boy, miss. <laughs> Campa, get off my lid. Talking to my dog, y'all. Camper hand. He still exists. Look, y'all, Mr. Atkins stood up. But that lady right there with that coat over there, she getting a free check. A lot of she ain't never said nothing. She just getting free money. Getting her hair braided. She don't got her hair. I ain't even got my hair braided yet. I'm talking about her getting that free money and drink cold water. She is doing everything. I think Miss Miss Love trying to get a promotion, but I really don't. You know, it's okay for everybody to strive for promotion, but I don't think she's ready to move up. She got to learn a little bit more or either resign or retire, uh, one of the two. But nah, nah, no, nah, not. She don't need to move up no height. Look at Mr. Atkins. Taking the jury so long to get in now. Hold on, y'all. Let me skip it.
Now, let me tell y'all what Miss Love gonna do. Miss Love is going to take what they say, write it down, and then repeat it back to Miss Gaither. Watch this. Say.
we chill, hush. Hey. Well, answer it. First of all, why is she talking like that? Open up your mouth, speak loud and clear so the jury can hear you. Why are you, uh, 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 you talking like that? And then now you're trying to act like you didn't understand the question. That's right, Judge. Judge had to ask her, Do she, she's a sergeant. You're a higher position. You don't know what you said. You don't understand the question? Y'all getting on my nerve. You and Miss Love playing volleyball. Okay, but could you answer the question that I asked? What was your question, I guess? Can I have the court reporter read the question back? Because I doubt I could replicate it the same way. No, he didn't. Now, why all of a sudden Miss Gaither don't want to use her voice, her mic, microphone? Why we can't hear her? She trying to talk sassy. Let me ask you um, something else. There was a discussion on direct about the shooting at Club Crucial uh, around Janu on January 6th, I believe you recall that. Yes, sir. And one of the things you testified to is that Diamante Kendrick, yeah, he got arrested up the street from Club Crucial. Do you remember that? I didn't say up the street. Yeah. 
Okay, they don't even know what she said. And in love trying to coach her. Here we go. Ooh, it's gonna be some digestion sustained, overruled. <laughs> it goes sharp. As that. Come on now. Get ready. Get your head ready. It's scary. Oh. Hold up. Y'all know what? Ask the question that they, they make me sick. When they get up here, they act like they nerve bad. Ask the question what you need to ask her. It, when she wasn't there, y'all had plenty to ask her. Ask the lady the question and let's move on, y'all. Sheesh. 
fuss too much. Ask the woman a question and let's go. Made love of a hush. She shut up. It was your original file. That's, that's a copy of the original file that someone else had from some other document. I cannot tell you if that is my original file because I don't remember all of the contents of the original file. There are portions and documents. But in my strange, Miss Gator. You remember the, the main part, the, the part of the file that you wanted to say in court, though, right? See, that's what he trying to, they trying to get to, that file. So you kept what you want to be heard in court. That's what you're saying. So what you do with that portion of the file? Yeah, some yeah, boy. Y'all see what we go through in Fulton County? In Atlanta. Things that were in my original file that are now in this folder right here. And there are also portions that I don't know where they came from that are in this folder as well. Okay. And when you make a copy of your original file and send it to the DA's office, you would want to include the pertinent parts of your investigation, correct? Sure. Because they're the ones that are going to be prosecuting the case. The DA's office. At what stage of, of the case? Like I stated to this gentleman here, different stages of the case going through the court system, you will receive different pieces of evidence. And maybe starting in the beginning, like the complaint room, you may not have all pieces of evidence or documents that'll that'll end up in your original file at the end. So therefore, different stages that the, the case goes to the DA's office, you may not have all of the information. It would contain the information. file or portions of the file. Look at love. She's so nervous. She don't win in the file. Y'all, I do not like the way Miss Love be shaking her head when no when her, when the witness be up there making faces, and I know the judge can see it, and I know that recorder see it. I mean, she need to stop that. Yes, 
Look at Look at Love turn her head on uh her own witness. She's so worried about them men in the courtroom. She's probably looking at them on that computer right there. She got to get herself together, man. I don't understand how she the chief prosecutor in this case. I don't. That show you favoritism. It's a mother sucker. Some prior testimony from April 29, 2000. Thank you, too, because Miss Love's voice getting on my nerve. You know, when you say counts, I can't recall how many exact counts. I understand. And, I, and I'm not going to stress too much on this. Okay? Uh, criminal damage to property. Okay. Is that game charges? It sounds about right. I, I don't know off the top of my head everything that he was charged with. You charged him with game charges, gang act violation. Yes. And you charged him with possession of firearm during commission of a felony. Um, that sounds about right. Look at love. Look at love. Look at love. Hold on. Hold on. Let me take that back. Let me take that back. Love trying to tell her what to say. She got an attitude now. Mr. Zachary is telling you, after you saw contextual details, that Shannon made these statements to him when he and Moontoon pulled up to Jeffrey's condo. And I believe in the rest of that. In context, he stated that they didn't want to say anything in front of Moontoon because Moontoon talked too much. Okay. So I don't believe it was in this moment when they saw your client walking in that he told him in front of Muntu. Well, so what's your understanding? When, when do you believe it occurred? I believe he further states that, that he didn't tell him right in that moment that he said it in front of Muntu. Well, I mean, I'm, you want the details, so if that's not when it occurred, I'm asking you, when did, when did this alleged statement from Mr. Stillwell occur? If not then, we probably should ask Mr. Quindarius that while he was on the stand. Um, but you the Don, oh, loud these folks like make me cuss. But you the detected that question, uh, Quindary. You don't, y'all don't let her tell y'all what to do. That's what you should have said, that you the detected that question them also as well. Don't let that lady talk to you like that. She ain't no bully. story 
haven't changed in 2017. Your Honor, I object to believe that is not in evidence until today. We have played that clip, and that's in evidence with Mr. Zach. We played a tape. And this is shot. Are you aware that his story about when it occurred changed when he spoke to law enforcement and district attorneys in 2017? I was not in the game in 2017. I was not in the game in 2017. Let's talk about what Quindere exactly claimed Mr. Stilwell said. Um, in the 2015 interview, do you, you agree that he said, Shannon? Zachary. I 
like certain aspects. Okay, y'all, it come to president. It come to president, president time. Woo we about to be some red flags and about to be some uh objection sustain overrule when president still come up here. Come on, still bring your whole suitcase. Look, Mr. Western ain't, ain't even talking to uh Miss Love close to he don't spread his chair, he 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 don't move over some. Come on now. No, thank you, thank you, Mr. Whisper. Um I'd like to ask you your background and, and if I'm getting too far afield, just say beyond your your knowledge, okay? When you were doing policing and you'd obtain surveillance video images from let's say a business or a house, okay? I want you to focus on that. I heard you say today that you did that for the vault. Were you involved when you watched the 10 cars go? You know what I'm talking about? I didn't say I did. I said it, but I think you didn't see it. Okay, you didn't see the... You didn't I view, see, the, I view 